A grilled cheese burrito? Are you kidding me, dude? Feast or pass? For me, it's a big feast. I had a grilled cheese chicken burrito from a popular food truck in Columbus, Ohio, Macho Taco Food Truck. They're beloved and for good reason. So this is a quick in the making, but if you wanna just watch me eat, skip to the 90 second mark and watch me upper feast like a beast. A grilled cheese burrito, what's not to love, right? Oh my God. You know me, I'm a sauce boss. That's probably too much because it's spicy, but you only YOLO once. Turns out uh, grilled cheese and top-notch ingredients are delicious. Who knew? <clears throat> Hulk sauce. Incredible. Look, if some of it falls off, just put it on top. Don't be a baby about it. Ratings. Food presentation, the grilled cheese burrito takes up the entire box and comes with two dippies. It's not a five out of five because the dips were like 10% full, so I'd suggest either getting a smaller container or filling them up more. 4.5 out of five. Food taste, the burrito ingredients are top notch and full of flavor, and the crispy cheese wrapped around the burrito provides a great crunch and a nice texture juxtaposition. 4.8 out of five. Food truck vibes, the food truck shows off their Hulk sauce and has a buff macho arm holding a taco. 4.5 out of five. Overall, 13.8 out of 15, or 92%. Taco Bell as a place, one to feast. Um, I would say, I would say feast, man. Like um, for fast food, as long as you, you know, you order, you know, what you know is a little bit better than some of the other things on the menu. And uh, it's, <laughs> it's cheap, fast, easy, late night food. If you're, you know, cause sometimes I get out of work pretty late so my options are kind of limited and if I don't feel like cooking you know they got good uh they got good hot sauces I really like um heat so I, I like that part a lot and if you if you wrap anything in a Dorito uh shell it's pretty much going to taste decent so I'd say sure. I'd say yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm with you dude it's super good munchy food um my order I'll usually do like a chili cheese burrito cheesy gordita crunch and then I'll do just one regular taco to keep myself humble just one regular hard shell crispy yeah. taco um that yeah, Baja Blast it. is clutch yeah any place with I swear the more places should have Mountain Dew because it's kind of funny I actually choose where I'm going to eat sometimes just depending on if they have Mountain Dew on draft so <laughs> I feel like <laughs> I feel like that's something that like people should realize like it might be worth the money to to have you know I don't know if anyone's ever said that but no, I've never heard that before and I love it. This is a safe space. So please keep saying stuff like that. 
Like most people are like, yeah, I need like a really fine red. If this restaurant has like a Camus Cabernet, I'm there. You're like, dude, if they got Mountain Dew, I'm all for it. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> hey, I love it. What's your fave flavor of Mountain Dew? Just tradish? Yeah, I think just straight. Um, I think it, I used to serve like way back in the day and, and uh, I'm not much of a morning person anyways, but I remember the Mountain Dew, you know, the fountain, the fountain. Mountain Dew would, would save my life a lot. And I think that's when I fell in love with it, probably when I was in like my uh, my late teens. What made you want to go the, the macho taco route instead of something more tradish? I just remember for like six months, we were, uh, we knew we wanted to have a truck, right? But we didn't know what the uh, concept was going to be. Like we had, we started off with the Hulk sauce. Hulk sauce was the beginning, but it kind of goes good on everything. It's good on pasta, it's good on pizza, it's good on, especially like, you know, Mediterranean food. And then of course, tacos. So we were playing around and we would have taste testings and invite people over. This is obviously pre-COVID. So we would have people over, you know, have 10, 20 people feed them. Um, we would do something slightly different in both areas, but almost the same thing and have them taste test just to see if anything was worth the change or the ingredients, you know, it was, it was so much fun. I miss the, the taste testing and experiment phase was like by far my favorite. But no matter what we did, we couldn't get away from everyone loving the tacos the most. So it's like, it just kind of won every single time. <laughs> like, and it's, it's, I think it's one of my favorite foods too, but the, the flavor profiles kind of came from us not being able to decide between Mediterranean and Mexican. So that's kind of why we did like the fusion of, uh, of both, <clears throat> which is nice because it's, it's unique. So we didn't really have much competition in that area as well. Before you started your food truck, have you ever been a boss of someone before? Like, cause I know you have a, a two person team or three person team. Was this your first time being a boss? Um, that's an awesome question. So um, I I was doing just sales, but I wanted to take on a leadership role where I came from. Um, so I was actually running a store. Um, but same thing, though, it was a real small crew. It was only um, I was one of five. Um, so I had, uh, you know, a four person team. And uh, and so that would have been technically the first. But I think I was there for about about two years. So, so I think that actually I never thought about it, but that probably helped a bunch because having uh, having such a small area where obviously you you know it helps to be friends it helps to get along because like right. there's not a whole lot of space to move and you're constantly either reaching over somebody or bumping into somebody so it definitely helps to uh to like each other <laughs> of course <laughs> i think the hardest part like the scariest thing to think about as a business owner which obviously you don't think about it until you kind of get to that point is uh is when you open up a second shop or you open up a second truck how do you get that same love to come through even though you know, you have basically a different owner essentially mm -hmm. on, on that truck. Um, so I feel like staffing is, um, finding the right people is probably the most, 